let's take a look at the basics. We created Newark and Rolls to better serve our schools and families because everyone deserves a fair, transparent, and efficient school enrollment process. The purpose of this video is to show you exactly how Newark and Rolls works and how students are matched to their schools. To start, what information do we use to place students at schools? The ranked list of school choices on each student's application. The number of seats offered at each school in each grade level and each school's priorities. School priority structures might include things like siblings of current students or priority for children who live in the school's neighborhood. Applicants will be considered in order of priority groups if there are more applicants than available seats. It is important to remember that students who wish to stay in their current school do not have to apply. Students who apply to change schools and do not receive a new school assignment will be matched back to their current school so long as it serves their next grade level. You can learn about the priority structures for each school by looking in the Newark Enroll School Guidebook available at www.newarkenrolls.org. In general, all district elementary schools have sibling and geographic priority. All district high schools have sibling priority, except for magnet schools that use rankings to determine which students are matched. All charter schools have sibling priority, and some also have geographic priority. To better understand what this means, let's start with an example. Let's imagine a city with only one school. We'll call it a Riverfront School. Riverfront School gives priority to siblings of current students, and then to applicants who reside in the neighborhood. Riverfront School has 25 seats in kindergarten. 15 seats are filled by continuing students. So there are 10 seats available for new students. Let's now imagine that 15 families have applied to attend Riverfront School. We start by giving each applicant a random lottery number. Next, we group the applicants by Riverfront School's priority structure. These six applicants are siblings of current students at Riverfront School, so they are in the first priority group. These two applicants do not have siblings attending Riverfront School, but they do live in the neighborhood. They are in priority group two. The remaining students do not have siblings attending Riverfront School, nor do they live in the neighborhood. They are in the final group. Now we can line up each student within their priority group in order of his or her random number. Now we know in what order to place students at Riverfront School. 15 seats are already filled by continuing students. Riverfront School has 10 remaining seats available, so we offer a seat to the first 10 applicants in line. All of the students in priority groups one and two receive a placement at Riverfront School because there are only eight of them and there are 10 seats available. The first two applicants in the final group receive a placement into the two remaining seats. For only this group, it was the applicant's random lottery number that determined who would get the seat. All 10 seats at Riverfront School are filled. No more placements are made at this school.